this is way better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How we sound now? Further away, but but not like it was. Okay. I wish I could even replicate how you sounded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we live now in the chat room, guys. Um, let us know because uh, lately when I hit start, I've had to reset it real quick mm -hmm. because my audio has been acting crazy. Uh, let us know if the sound is good in the chat room, guys. Um, all my all my people in the chat there. Um, hey everybody, good, good, Michelle, cool, cool. That's what I like to hear. Um, all right, well, I sent you the lyrics in Skype. Uh, you don't obviously we're not using Skype, but uh, you can still use that to read the lyrics now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I'll count, I'll count you down, and I'll say three and two, not one and zero, and we'll start recording, and we'll just kick it for a while and uh, have some fun. Good on your side. Yeah. Here we go. In three, two. I don't hear anything. Oh, you didn't hear me? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard you just say three, two. I don't hear no music. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't say one to zero. I'm a professional. This is just like a Hollywood movie set. Okay. <laughs> when I say three and two, you just you 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 as an actor, you find your cue and you oh, go. Okay. Let okay. the moment speak to you. Okay. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this again. Okay. Take two. And we're rolling, all right? So in three, two. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Is this right. supposed to be music playing? No, no, no you got it. It's oh, all okay. Right. All right. Sweet. Okay, I get it now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't trying to be on beat. We ain't trying to. Just, all right. We ain't trying to. Right. I'm not right. leaving all this in because this is even funnier. <laughs> than so, uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. In three, two. Take things off. Take oh. things off. Take oh. jeans off. Oh. Take oh. rings off. Bring oh. this yeah. Babe, come off. And yeah, everything <laughs> off. Fool, what you want? We stifle it, fool. Fool, what you want? Your life is yours. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> welcome to the Black Tips podcast. Your host Rod and Annie up. Uh. You have a very special guest in the house. Mm -hmm. A lot of people's favorite guest over the last year. Yes. Um, stumbled across this woman on Facebook. I don't remember how. <laughs> I, I don't, don't either. But now that we're best friends, uh, she decided. <laughs> to come on the show. Now that I owe um, all my success to you. Uh, you yes. know, every time she does achieve something, I'm like, this is the Blackout Tips bump I mean, right here. <laughs> you know? I expect um, to win an Oscar tomorrow. I, you know what? It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know? And when you do, we'll be right there in the wing <laughs> to take all the credit. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's, you know, if you follow her on Facebook, which you already should be doing, uh, it's our girl Janelle James, uh, who you can go to her website, JanelleJamesComedy.com, or you can go to at JanelleJComic on Twitter or become her friend Janelle James on Facebook or just follow her because she's getting so popular now. Um, and also, <laughs> you probably heard her on another round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, you may know her as one of the 50 funniest people in Brooklyn. What, what's it like being on a list? What's it like being on a list? I mean, it's just been so overwhelming. You know, I don't know if you do. I dated The Rock for a little bit. He reads the Brooklyn magazine every week and you know, mm. he just hit me up. You know, that's how things happen. You get on these lists. You know, he was like, you know, I got a new baby and everything. But hey, it's all about you. I just been looking for a funny lady, and you know. But we had to edit it because you know I'm just getting too big. He 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 insecure and shit. You know, that's what all of the muscles are is about. Well, you know, his wife, his wife ain't on no list. You know what I mean? You need to get yeah, on one exactly. You know. You want a little Niggas like that need a, need a little waitress or something, you know, not somebody that's doing things, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should have listened, intimidated him, you know, after a while. He probably can't handle this life. You know exactly. how it is. Exactly. I saw him in uh, CIA, you know, he was being, uh, Central Intelligence, I mean, he was being pretty funny with uh, Kevin Hart I heard, and everything. I heard, and I want to see it, yeah. I, are there, have you seen their promos? Yeah, I've seen them, yeah. Are the promos funnier than the movie? 
No, no. The movie was funny, man. Um, mm-hmm. Mostly because of The Rock, though. Like, mm-hmm. uh, Kevin Hart plays a straight man, kind of. I mean, and, and I know uh, time together, I gave him some pointers, you know, on comedic timing and stuff like that. So I'm glad that he used it, you know. I can just tell. Funny. I can tell. We were watching myself. <laughs> you can't get out with your nail, because. We're through that training. Some of this is not what I he build used to men do. up. I build men up. You know what I mean? You got to, you know. So Let them fly free. Exactly. You know, be them. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we really do appreciate you coming on the show again. Of course, I'm sorry it took so long to come back. Nah, man, oh, no you know it's it's all good, man. We we there was no uh, I always see you working and being busy and you putting know up videos, putting up videos and, and things of this nature. Um, so what matter of fact, what happened with dick detectives, man? You um, are you done detecting them dicks? No, man, we trying to get uh. <laughs> Are we done detecting him dicks? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Always on the case. Uh, we trying to get somebody to give us money to do that shit. So mm-hmm. actually, uh, what we're doing is we, we got a production company that's going to make more web series for us. What? Right? Which is now called The Struggle. And uh, and so once we get that going, we hope to like spin that off in the Dick Detectives, you know, once that get a little bit more. So we can we can be more known as peep as each other and then spin that off into dick detectives. But no, we wrote a whole movie detecting dicks, you know? So it's coming. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I, can't I can't wait, man. That was amazing. Karen, you, oh. Karen, you cold? <laughs> I'm always cold, sweetie. <laughs> we go out, it'd be, it'd be 90 degrees when we go out the house and Karen will bring a jacket, man. <laughs> wait. I don't even say, I don't even say Aren't that. Aren't y'all no down more. south? Yes, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> I mean, it be hot as hell outside. Okay, cool. But when you walk into the restaurant, it's like 20 degrees. I'm fucking for no mm-hmm. I don't say nothing no more. I just be like, <laughs> it's it's cold cold cold. Yeah, yes. I'm like this is what she does, guys. You'll get used to it. <laughs> um, but also, um, you know, you you've uh in addition to you know the uh the, the web series and stuff, which we shared and everybody was very excited about. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw you, you know, you've been doing some stand up and stuff. I saw a clip on um, on Facebook and I was sharing it. Everybody was like, oh, my God, who is this? And I was like, so you don't listen to our show? And they was like, oh, no, no, I know, Janelle. <laughs> hey, what's going on? So how's yeah. a stand up going? I mean, yeah, that's my number one. So stand up is always uh, it's always going, which is why I'm in my basement now, not doing anything, which is not usually what I do. Um <laughs> <laughs> Finally caught me. Um, yeah, that uh, was a Night Train, Wyatt show, and mm-hmm. how these things happen. We taped that in like November last year, and this is wow. how long it, it took to come out. But I'm flattered they're using me to to promote it. You know, I already uh-huh. hit them up. Like, uh, I think y'all owe me another check or something. Cause <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank I mean, goodness you weren't saying nothing too topical away, you know, like oh it's Thanksgiving's coming, and then they'd be like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what y'all talking about? <laughs> man, man he's he really likes Thanksgiving a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's now, been what, good. What about, getting, uh, what about the list though? What about the list life? Because I have friends, I'm friends with all the comedians now, right? I'm friends, and I'm, I'm in the circle. Them. You would think I did stand up. Uh, but I don't. But I mean, I'm you saying would, you would be totally great. You would think I, did, I don't right? recommend, but yeah, I mean, but, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, but we in the, I'm in the crew with my point. Yes, um, I hang around. I noticed a lot of shots fired at people being on the list, man. Did you see them? Was you, was you feeling like hunted? Like, how was it? Well, you know, uh, of course I saw them, <laughs> <laughs> and you saw I was all in it, egging people <laughs> on because that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, uh, comedians are such babies. Like, the list mean nothing and everything, you know? Everybody says uh, it doesn't mean anything, but if you're not on it, you're pissed. I think I had a post one time that I that I slapped a smoke detector off a wall one time after I read a list. Like, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how bad it made you because you know you always think you funnier than everybody else or it's not fair but one thing i would never do is go on a public forum 
and talk shit about people, you know, other people about our supposed peers, you know. So, but uh, stand up just like everything else has its clicks and groups and all that bullshit. So, yeah, I just started talking shit about people doing stand up. It's good. It's refreshing. I I felt like joining in the crew, man. So I, I feel like that's gonna be my new thing. No, you don't wanna no, we're horrible. <laughs> I, I listen to many podcasts with comedians to do that because I feel like um, knowing what's going on in their head all the time that it would bother them a lot, even if they try to act like it didn't. And then to they would to talk shit about them, like they would, it would fuck with them. And on a, like, if you were just like, "Oh man, uh, like Mike Lawrence is my friend," but I was mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, watch, I watched Sadamanium. <laughs> shit was terrible. That shit would fuck with him, man." Like. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. that's why that's why stand ups are good at what they do, or you know, that's why they do what they do is because little shit does get to them, and then they want to like talk about I mean, it. I mean, yeah, we overthink everything, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, you. Like, I, I, I started. I started to make a Facebook thread that was just like, um, "What's the worst thing to say to stand up when they leave, get off the stage?" Because I want to like go to stand up and do it to somebody. <laughs> You trying to make people jump off a bridge somewhere? Like we're all <laughs> hanging on a thread, and you trying to up that shit? Uh, let me think. Oh shit! What would be something bad? What's the worst thing somebody said to you? I mean, it's not even really bad shit. It's just like you know what you should have said, or some bullshit like that. It's like don't fucking tell me. You see how I just hulked up just now like that? <laughs> how dare you talk to me like that? But that I might mean, be I a thought, personal I problem. I just don't, I don't even like suggestions from other comics. I'm like, shut up. I don't know. I'll get to it on my own. You know what I mean? I don't need your input on my joke that I'm still working out. But if somebody, some fuck around in the audience, just some, some, some dude is like, what you, you know what you could be funny. You know what I mean? It's just like fucking I've steam out. Of, I've been thinking of going with, oh man, you are actually funny. Like, you know, like, I was surprised, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get stole on. <laughs> that was the one I came up with. But I was like, I don't know. Somebody's probably said some worse shit than even trying, than that, you know? Trying to start brawls. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I was I mean, laughing at everything. That's wow. really good because it's, real, it's a real sneak diss, you know? Yeah. That's that shit that fuck with you all the way home on the subway. Like, did this nigga say what the fuck? Right. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, when I bought the tickets, you know, I just thought I was gonna get something to eat, man. But damn, you, you good, man. I got a joke with my wings. Man, I, <laughs> I mean, uh, all right. people say like, you know, I never heard of you. Just little shit like that. But that's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I never heard. Of you. That's that uh that nagging shit that dudes do that I don't really fall for though. But that's what they're trying to go for. So you can then be like, what? And you know, and then that starts a conversation. I don't yeah. fall for that shit. Yeah, that's true. And then also like, like nigga, you know me now, don't you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> also, being a woman in stand up is gotta be like, you know, an extra element of being like dudes feeling still because no matter what the power level the dynam- dynamics are on stage, they still feel like I'm gonna go holler at her. We should get off stage rather than well, the other way around. That, I mean, that's that's like certainly true, but I have been doing this long enough. It's, it, when I first started, and I don't know if people like realize this, but oh, well, the people who started with me, if they saw me now, they would know what I was doing. When I first started, I would dress up like, oh, it's a show, you know, da da da. Now I dress like a fucking spellmaster like you know like a wizard like i just wearing a long shit like i was telling people like nobody knew i had titties before at midnight you know what i mean so <laughs> <laughs> people was like oh shit because i don't and it's by design because that stops i mean it doesn't stop but it you know brings that down with dudes trying to like come up to you after i just try to make myself as scary looking and as crazy as possible and um, <laughs> But there's got to be a demographic. Gotta, of, uh, there's got to be a demographic of dude out there into that too, though. Let's go. Ooh, oh well, yeah, let's and go. those motherfuckers are the creepiest. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they was like, "Ooh, I can't tell what's under there. That's my type." Right? <laughs> I, get, I get less douchebag and more nutcase, so I don't know it, which is better. But but the Girl, thing with that, like, let's be shut-ins together. 
Well, the thing with nutcases is they won't approach me at the show. They'll write me after. I'll I'll do that. Like oh. I was I was just at your show and you know whatever. Mm. So. Oh my god! I yeah, it's a lot of shit we gotta do. Oh, anyway, it's crazy. <laughs> Well, I was telling, uh, you know, Alex and good. She's been on the show. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. He's just, coming back Sunday. Him and Ray are coming back Sunday. So yeah. Sure. I was just telling him because of the CISO thing. Now I'm getting dick pics all the way from Germany. So I feel like I made it. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is the dick detectives gonna get on it? <laughs> Take it international, girl. Yeah. That's our international division, and and so <laughs> we got to fall over. Right, that they, they was like the dick detectives speak many languages. <laughs> right, they gonna have to. It's gonna be they taking out their shades like strickens the dick. You're like, oh, you <laughs> need to see that dick. <laughs> Wait, did I tell? Right, did I tell you what the the premise is behind dick detectives? I can tell you real quick. Mm -hmm, go ahead. All right, so the story. So we wrote uh, an hour and twenty minute movie, and the premise is I had a twin who uh, was standing on the train platform one day and she hears, hears a noise, she turns around and this guy is flashing her and she gets so startled, she falls off backwards off the train. And on the way down, she took pictures of his dick, right? And so, <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I'm here, I wanna see this. And so I've become, a cop. Me. <laughs> I've become a cop. Uh -huh. and, uh, I joined the dick division, of which Hadi is my partner, and I'm just looking for the dick to kill my sister. You know what I mean? And uh, so that's the <laughs> I got five on the girl. I yes, got five. that's all my favorite genres combined. <laughs> so a lot of dick puns. You know, I've been looking for this dick my whole life. That type of shit. And, uh, it's gonna oh, be I good. can't wait. <laughs> I know some, some, some girl uh, is uh, says a dick smack me. I don't know what it looked like. Which way did it go? Which, <laughs> exactly. A lot of lot of uh, sketch artists. A dick, you know, <laughs> tracing yeah. the rings. What's it called? Like a, a dick scientist who, like, you know, can see the the rim different <laughs> how tall you are based on whatever. Like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Man. Dick DNA, I'm here for it. Yes. <laughs> I cannot wait, man. This, this is a dick that killed my sister. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll have all types of dick prints. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna sound like <laughs> print. Somebody gonna have to snitch on them dicks. Come on. <laughs> 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 There's gonna be a lot of stop and frisk. Right. No, that's gonna be a. Can I stop and dick you? All right, good. No, I get I get uh, information from a guy named Long Game who's based on this old dude that's been trying to fuck me for like two two years. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, Long Game. <laughs> he been around for a long time. Damn, been around for a long time. time. I know. He, he gets, gets, me, he gets me tips on the street. <laughs> <laughs> dick tip. Yes. Dick tip. I've been around for a long time. I done seen a many a dicks in my days, girl. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. He going to have his girls help and you going to mess around and get up with the prostitutes. And you know they know what dicks is like. <laughs> ah, that's a twist. I didn't. Do we have any prostitutes? That's a good. Maybe for the sequel, Karen. That sounds yes. good. Yes. Karen, you know, you get Karen talking about dicks, man. <laughs> you get, get the show started. I know. Dick Detective 2, the street scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that'll be next year. We're doing all that shit, so don't worry. We're we, we, we working on it. Man. It takes a long time to do these things, man. Especially by yourself. Oh, right. yeah, man. Even to make, like, a Hollywood movie takes, like, five years. Like, that's so crazy. Yeah, and yeah. So and, but, you know, and, this, and plus, you know, you see my shit. I'm so fucking anal. I'm not gonna just put out whatever. So. Right. Yeah, it's gonna take a what's minute. Weird, what's weird is like when you think about the fact that it takes like ten, five to ten years to make a Hollywood movie. Mm -hmm. It's weird yeah. because like somebody still made Gods of Egypt. You know what I mean? Like, so, like movie. they had yeah. five years to think well, that through to be like, no. What I always think with stuff like that is, so five years ago it seemed like a good idea, and then two years right? in. You're like, yeah, uh, but it's too late to pull out. That's what she said. Oh my but, god! Uh, yeah. What other what other movies are in the pipeline before Black Lives Matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, what other mm -hmm. thing were they thinking of? Where they were like, oh, you know what? 
let's have McC- Matthew McConaughey free the slaves. And then him and the slaves gonna fight together against the South, and like everyone's gonna be saved because a white man came down to the South and saved the slaves, and everybody's like, "Oh man, that that, that is sounds a great, great idea. We should do that." Everyone see stuff fight. like that. I feel like that's McConaughey. He he probably brought that. Like, hey, I'm a star. This gonna be my shit. My you know whatever. So oh, I would God. put that all on him. You can't out, yeah. you can't out act racism. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They they went ready. It's gonna be it's gonna be some more offensive shit coming out. It was like, oh, we didn't know Black Lives Matter was gonna be on. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna keep doing it. It's just they gonna keep doing it. Like so much. Uh, when you think about the movies that don't get made versus the bullshit that comes out, like you you know all that shit on Netflix. It's like I can't get a hundred thousand to make Dick Detectives, and y'all got this bullshit. On here, you Come know, on, so, man. You know. Come on. Yeah. Um, all right, let me introduce this show. Uh, I know you guys are like, what hey is yo. this? It's the Black Out <laughs> Tips. The Black Out Tips podcast. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher. Leave us five-star mm-hmm. reviews. If we like the five-star reviews, we read them on the show on Saturday when we do our feedback show. The official weapon of the show is... The taser. And the unofficial sport... It's bullet ball. And bullet ball extreme. And today marks day 568 that Bobby Schroeder has been locked up in jail on $2 million bail. Um, still not being reduced. Free mm-hmm. Bobby. Mm-hmm. Um and also um today is double sponsored. Actually, it might be triple sponsored. Let me check my direct messages for our mess around, lose us some money. Oh no, and, and while you doing that, <laughs> um we're streaming live on uh Crowdcast. And, yeah. and for those of you, we, uh, we won't let you guys know that uh you can stream on your laptops and your computers and things like that. Uh, if you, ha- I don't know about Androids, but if you have an iPhone, you can't watch live, but you can do the replay. Once the replay finishes, <laughs> like once we end uh, this, you can play the replay. It shows up just fine, but uh, they're working on an iOS app so it can be compatible to iPhones. So you can't stream through your iPhones. Like I said, I don't know about Android devices, uh, but uh, for everybody out there that was like, well, I can't uh, watch live, that, that may be why. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now let's get into these sponsors. All right, we got three sponsors today. First of all, this podcast is brought to you by Bevel. Mm-hmm. That's right. Bevel is the first and only shaving system designed specifically for coarse curly hair and sensitive skin. Step up your shave game and say goodbye to razor bumps. Check out getbevel.com today and use code TBGWT to get 20% off of your first month at getbevel.com. That's G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L dot com. <clears throat> also, it's brought to you by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is back, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For those of y'all that like toys, even though y'all grown <laughs> ass adults, I do. Mm-hmm. The Loot Crate is a monthly mystery crate filled with exclusive items from the biggest and best pop culture franchises. Go to lootcrate.com/tbgwt and then enter code tbgwt. See, it's really simple, and you can save three dollars off of any new subscription. And they have all kinds of like price levels and stuff that come with different things. And this month's theme is futuristic. Oh, shit, now. That's right. Uh, Loot Crate's going to give you a look into the future with some of their pop culture favorite prognostications of science and the future. Uh, look towards tomorrow with items from Rick and Morty, Futurama, oh, Star like Trek, Mega up. Man. Mm-hmm. Star Trek, everything, y'all. Get t-shirts, all kinds of stuff come in there. Make sure you get that uh, because uh, it helps everybody out, um, mm-hmm. specifically us. Right. And, <laughs> if, and if you be wondering, check check out across all our social mediums. I put pictures of everything. So if you're like, ooh, what's in the box? Check out social media. I got pics of it. Mm-hmm. And we also have a new audio play on uh, iTunes from Shadow Dog Productions. Uh, it's only 99 cents, and you get to hear me narrate uh, a, a whole – uh, infomercial or commercial on how to stop being bullied. Okay. A lot of you guys That's out there, one. you listen to this, you're nerdy, you use two computers. Uh, <laughs> you, guys gotta, you guys gotta toughen up, man. And I'm here to help you toughen up. All you gotta do is go on iTunes and just check it out because it's Stop Being Bullied and it's by Shadow Dog Productions and it's only 99 cents. Wouldn't you want to pay 99 cents so you stop getting beat up and bullied and tortured at work and by that person you don't like and stuff like that? I'm trying to help y'all out. All right. All right. I didn't now know uh, having two computers was synonymous with being bullied. <laughs> it's definitely synonymous with being a nerd. I don't know. <laughs> Once you go double got screen, them, you can't got, get that. Got them 32 inch. Uh, <laughs>
You know it's serious. I got to see everything. I should know, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, all man. right. We got, I know I know. we got all kinds of <laughs> Doing that arm and man shit in their house. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you go to somebody's house and they got the two screens, it is like, because at work when people have it, it's like, Oh, you might need that for your job. But whenever you yeah, go somewhere, home, I'm like, like nigga, nigga, you, you hacking? <laughs> <laughs> Who bank account you stealing? Is the fucking feds about to come through, man? Yeah, Can I, I even? Do wa- I? I don't know if I want to watch Game of Thrones here, dude. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, fucking anonymous ass nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to know. I just got into Hillary emails, man. Just go ahead and <laughs> just go ahead and watch TV, man. It's cool. Mm-mm. Nah, man. Nah, I want it. I gonna bust your ass. I'm out. Then they have three. <laughs> oh, you. All right, we got all kinds of stuff to talk about. We got all kinds of news that that's been getting in the world. Okay, now this first article is about sexuality. Okay. And children. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And being taught about <laughs> being taught about their bodies and stuff. So an uh, expert warns children that uh, girls. As young as nine need to be warned about leaving it too late to start a family. And they need to be taught uh, at a young age to ensure they remain in good shape and uh, so that they can have a baby. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Girls as young as nine should be told not to leave it too late in life to start a family. A leading fertility expert has advised. Nine? That's the only thing I have a problem with. <laughs> nine? <laughs> That's weird. Nine years old. Just get them girls yeah. thinking about children as young as possible. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Thirteen. Uh, Adam okay. Ba- <laughs> now this may shock you. Adam Balin is a man. Of course. <laughs> yeah. The guy who came up with this, Adam right, Balin. Because no woman in her right mind would say some bullshit like that. Or even men are obsessed with shit like this. It's like what and what what's the deal? Right. right anyway. <laughs> Oh, probably there's people in their twenties that don't know if they want to have shit. I'm 36, 37, somewhere around in there, and and I'm like, kids, mm, good. Yeah. Well, well, I don't have a problem with if, like you're 21 and you go to a gynecologist and she had, she tells you straight up the facts, like it's harder to get pregnant once you reach a certain age. At that point, you can fucking consider all those things, but nine that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Right. And make a an adult decision. And make an adult decision. Uh, I- they're all women I mean, get to 40 and then they're like oh shit i can't get pregnant i didn't know you know i thought i had time blah 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 blah, blah so i just like that they telling them uh only the girls too you yeah know? I mean, guys yeah you a piece of shit little boy even though it's been want. proven that y'all fucking sperm is bullshit after 35 <laughs> y'all sperm be slow as fuck hey missing tails no need and shit. To say. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it oh, don't no. worry about it because mm, no matter what you look <laughs> like yo dick Will be the thing that she wants. She just want to get pregnant by you. Mm-hmm. She ain't got to be sexually attracted. But I'm even talking just on biologically. Men make, uh, have uh, 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 shit. What am I saying? Like your sperm ain't as good. The older you get, men right. think that they could just like, like make ten. It you know, swim as is, you know. Anyway, I mean, but you know what? They might swim a little to the left. But I mean, oh, but they always swimming though. They don't die. You know, it's like these like gently used sperm. You know, yeah. it's like they you get a half off of these sperm now. They don't I'm swim. In. Your sperm is slow. <laughs> you know? Like they they swim, but they kind of like swim in a circle because they can only go like oh. one side. But they get there. They know? just run they into each there. other because they fucking blind and shit. But um, yeah. that's yeah. how you know sperm. Sperm ain't shit because we have a million of them. You know what I mean? Like it's like in order to get somebody pregnant, we need a billion of them to get the job done. Ah, so try and to we, go women, after one egg. Women just need like an egg a month. Mm. You know what I mean? Like men's sperm, be like, and then women's sperm, women's eggs be like, all right, that's enough. We close enough shop after a while. But men's sperm be like, hey man, you still might have a chance. Still got it in know? me. You know my daddy. <laughs> you know my daddy played till he was sixty five. <laughs> Give me one more shot, coach. I can do it. <laughs> Traveling on that lonely road all by itself. Yeah, millions of sperm just yeah. fucked up. Just, just chilling down a fallopian tube road. Playing but yeah, they decided. Right. They <laughs> <laughs> gave up a long way. All your sperm, all your sperm, get out, drive out the uh, house with one blinker on. <laughs> fucking up traffic for everybody else. 
like speed up, Grandpa. Right. Bump, bump. Right. But hey, oh, shit. The, the important part of this story is <laughs> teach these little girls, man. Okay, you, this is your movie. number one thing priority in life. In yeah. So it's somebody check that nigga browser history. Something wrong with him. Right. Come on, doll. A lot of them. Uh, All these dudes that get obsessed with shit like this always got some fucked up fetish or or bullshit or some weird shit. And it's always about controlling a woman. Always. Sometimes that's the fetish. You know what I mean? (laughs) So. Wonder what other. Wonder what other political. Nine nine year olds having babies. Why are you doing that? Like what? Yeah, if it was up to him, they probably if it went against the law, probably like, well, y'all need to get married. I mean, come on. Is he looking at like a ten year old that's a little chubby? Like, mm mm mm, you ain't never gonna be able to have <laughs> <laughs> already mm. fucking up eating them gummy worms. And... <laughs> <laughs> this uh, why your kids got that goddamn diabetes? This is why your kids gonna be fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> she's yep. nine. I know that's what I'm saying. It's already it's the late. only thing she's here for, Rod. <laughs> Stop taking that test. And start doing some jumping jacks. Ah! <laughs> oh man. Uh at least it's not happening. Is this in America? Let me make sure it's not here. It probably is. Hell, totally thank God. Thank God it's not here. We already fucked up enough. In Finland. Oh, okay. So thank God it's not here. I mean, it's, we, I'm sure like, we it's don't coming. have a I'm sure refresh. it exists. Oh, I need to refresh. All right, hold on. Hold on, chat room. I'm gonna refresh. Apparently, uh I believe. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Sorry yeah, about yeah. that. Uh, chat room, let me know if, it, if it's uh, not working still. Uh, all right. Well, you know, let's talk about some more um, hangups that we have uh, here in the world. Um, the economy class wives. Their husbands fly in first class while they are forced to slum it in cheap seats. <laughs> I'm already uh, pissed. I'm already pissed. <laughs> <laughs> uh so apparently there's an increasing number of men that are insisting on taking the business class seats while their wives who travel with them have to sit in the regular ass economy seats. What is this madman? <laughs> <laughs> That's not some madman shit. Like you sit in the back. I'm gonna sit up here and drink a fucking gimlet with my bros. I mean- are they are they like one way trips? Or are they because I feel like if they were round trips, uh, I could pull this off because Karen would be like, "Well, then I get business class on the way back, right?" You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think I could pull yeah. this off one way. Like yeah, got to be some type of compromise in here. I'll be sitting on that nigga lap. They <laughs> 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 better be like, you know, we both gonna be in the economy then, right? We okay. Here's the deal. All right, we gonna get. I get one business, you get one economy, but what's gonna happen is halfway through, one of us use the bathroom, the other, and we switch. You know, he got <laughs> money to buy himself a business uh, business class and can't upgrade his wife. Like that doesn't make sense to me. I, that mm-hmm. that story can't be true. I can't. I know <laughs> this can't be happening. In really? Real life. Look, he needs the extra leg room, uh, and he can't help it. You know, it's just that's what you got to do. Uh, oh, Tina Kumar, thirty years old, who lives in Wimbledon. Uh, Wimbledon uh, is one of the uh, one of such neglected economy class wives. Uh, her husband, Aaron, thirty eight, who runs his own natural stone business in Croydon, South London. Natural stones? <laughs> and, how's that a business? Stones are naturals. Like what? What the fuck is he right. doing? Like this? <laughs> this nigga a hustler from for way back. Yeah, yeah. And this stone life right is a shame. <laughs> All natural. It's a hundred percent natural from this the ground. Damn, selling rocks. Got his wife hey, sitting. In. <laughs> this stone right here is gonna be about three fifty. Okay, I'm gonna. I now want to cut you a break. It's natural, but this is that. This is all organic right. rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's all natural. Found it just like this. Okay, so take it or leave it. You're not gonna find a better deal. Okay, just telling you now. Uh, <laughs> the price is going up. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because. We all know ways for landscaping, but just imagine he was just on a regular ass. 
just them normal ass rocks. I like uh I like that there's like another salesman somewhere that his rocks got weave, you know what I mean? Ah! Like, yeah, they not they not natural, you know what I'm saying? But it's you know, it's like Hawaiian silky dog. Like like, yeah, I, rub, I rub shea butter on each rock. Hand <laughs> <laughs> hand shade, hand lotion. <laughs> Can't even really tell the difference, dog. Look at his shit, look at my shit, dog. Come on now. Um, so that's right. I got a song. <laughs> it's been uh, played so by a rock salesman. She said it's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. I hope he just a I hope he just a, a crack dr a drug dealer. Like I hope he just sells yeah, crack. It would be more understandable. It's the only way that shit is acceptable right now. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I sell rocks. <laughs> no, no, natural rocks. Natural rocks, man. Don't put that in the paper. <laughs> this, this is nat natural stone business. Okay. I know they'll come and arrest me. Uh, but yeah, she regularly travels. He regularly travels in business class while she lay languishes in the cheap seats. A decision she has come to accept because she says her husband is the definition of a walking, talking workaholic. Fuck they gotta do with me sitting in there. <laughs> I got a goddamn thing to do with you. Damn, I just work so hard, baby. It's just you this should sit so in the back. Red foot stone rock slinging ass. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't worry ass working ass nigga. Work. <laughs> <laughs> the Flint's going to fly down. You work the fucking quarry. I don't want to hear that. I work hard and shit. <laughs> you driving with your feet or some shit. <laughs> That's that nigga riding a stegosaurus and busting rocks and shit. I don't want to hear that. You not how the fuck <laughs> to put me in economy, bitch? No. <laughs> Appar apparently, he said he needs that ticket so he can work on board. As well as to sleep properly in I preparation for his mini international. Nobody is denying him his first class seat. Bring your wife up too, though. Why she got to sit? If you can afford it. I like it. how he said he, as a workaholic, he also needs a seat to sleep. Nigga, that ain't work. Nah, yeah. you can sleep in the economy. She getting yeah. played. Damn. What? Mm -mm. You be he traveling by write, yourself. He need to write a pimp book right there, boy. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, oh, travel all the economy class you can and be work work yourself to death. But you know what be what 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 won't be done? This fucking housework. Let's see how much the workaholic gets done. <laughs> does he also go to the holiday inn and put her in the motel six? <laughs> like how how does this work when they arrive at the destination? Ah, right, baby, I'm gonna take an Uber. You catch that cab. I'll see you uh I'll see you at dinner. Oh, oh you know what, baby? No, he put her in the motel. <laughs> In the Motel Seven, we seen going down the highway the other day. Yeah, they you know what it is. They go when well, they go out to eat. He's like, all right, you go to that Applebee's up the block, and we're we gonna meet up afterwards. Okay. <laughs> he be he be renting the fucking Mustang. She be in a goddamn like. <laughs> I don't even know a fuse. She be in a fuse. <laughs> she be in a horse and buggy. Oh. <laughs> Married? Did 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 he talk into Zubik zirconium? Talk cubic zirconium. Yeah. I bet. I, I bet when they have sex, he's like, "No, the good orgasms are for me." So <laughs> you gotta I work. Her, I bet her wedding ring is an actual rock, though. It's not <laughs> a diamond. It's <laughs> one of natural rocks. This is a natural stone, baby. You shit. You ready to get this? The diamond oh. inside. You know what I mean? Like you inside my heart right now. Right. <laughs> Do you know, let me appraise this. Look, you know, this is a lot of natural rock right here, girl. It's Shit. too natural. I don't do this for everybody. Mm. But you oh. worth it. Look at the this way this rig sun. represents <laughs> all the time I'll be spinning away from you <laughs> in first class. <laughs> you are worth it, though, okay? You worth this 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 economy class. Oh, um, Hilarious. Tina, Tina, who's a different lady. Who designs kitchens and bathrooms made from natural stone and works on the retail side of Aaron's business admits that her husband's flying habits have attracted attention from their friends. Whenever I recount a funny incident on one of the flights I've taken with Aaron, he'll often attempt to interject, but everyone cuts him off saying, How would you know? You're in business while Tina is stuck in the yeah, economy. She got to be abused or something because this is ridiculous. No, he's like some fucking. Uh psychopath and she's just like yeah sure i like it <laughs> like ain't pretty smart thing her when you get in my bitch he got you in the back like what are you doing to to their <laughs> face <laughs> like they pretty smart thing when you got him at nine they don't they know not no better even like wait till he out of the room they like bitch with it they saying it to, to his him. 
You know? Right. right. That was like, you wasn't there. How you know? Everybody right. know this shit is fucked up except for them. But, you know, God bless. I hate when babies, <laughs> I hate when babies be cry, crying on the airplane. I wouldn't know what that's I like. Wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm in you first don't class. Know about babies in first class. That sounds horrible. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I'm she glad also they found said, each other because they're the only two of their kind. <laughs> Only two, she also said the first question people ask is always the same. Has your husband ever offered to change seats with you? Hand on heart, he hasn't even suggested it. It really used to bother me, but he did he think his comfort was more important than mine? What did it say about how much he respected me? But I've got used to it, though. Oh, he don't respect you, sweetie. I guess I, I can get guess, used to everything. This is my guess. She getting some dick on the side. It's the only thing that makes sense, man. I, mean, I don't understand. And the dude meets her. Ooh, ooh, I'm writing a movie. The dude meets her in economy. So she just be yes. blowing this dude up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> her new dude in the back while her husband. That's the it's only way be, this is uh, acceptable, Rob. It gotta be it's going to be a movie called right. uh, the, Mal, the Mal High Club, you know? Where it's <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going to be on my time. I don't get uh, that at all. A love story that ha happens she in the She fucking economy. a pilot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You gotta be getting something out of this. Just too, this is too bad. I mean, oh, besides man. all them rocks, you know. She said he's not tight with money, but when there's a choice between a 3,500 euro ticket for business compared to a 600 for economy ticket for me to join him, it's difficult to justify it. Do I need the extra leg room? No, I'm five foot three inches. Nah, bitch, I don't care how tall I am. I don't <laughs> care if I was three three inches tall. I'm getting all the fucking economy. I mean, first class. I want to marry this chick so I can walk all over her. <laughs> <laughs> she seems fun. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Oh, you think she buy two peanut butters? She's like, oh, no, no, no. I'll go to the dollar store for me. No, you, <laughs> you, you deserve Peter Pan Crunchy, baby. Don't. Like I'm I just going to go. I'm going to go to Family Dollar and get mine. It's a good thing they found each other. I yeah. know. She's going to. She gonna be going shopping thinking she gonna get something nicer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It gotta going be dick on the side. It gotta be dick on the side, Rob. This it, it, that's all it is. The only thing I can, cause this would stress me out. Like unless you getting some dick relief or something, how you not stressed out? What's in it for you? You getting played? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching out there, no I'm joking. <laughs> you getting played? You played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she probably getting dicked down by the flight attendant. They probably keep using the same airline. He mm -hmm. think he's slick. Uh, even when <laughs> we get off the plane. Why they flying together for work? They work together? She says, she... even... Oh, go ahead, Janelle. Oh, I'm just like, why are they... Why is she flying on his work trips? I don't understand. Anyway, this whole thing is funny. Go ahead. I'm sorry. She said, um, even... The only time they ever flown together in economy was on a flight to Egypt that took... It should have been five hours, but it got delayed. It took eight hours. She said it just didn't work. I wanted to chat while he was totally preoccupied with his work. He had to ask me to be quiet. It felt very awkward. She is being abused. <laughs> you know, he didn't say be quiet. He said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bitch. I mean, I mean, I mean, baby. It's bad enough. I'm back here with you. Right. God damn. You be talking my motherfucking here. <laughs> he raised his hand up. was like, oh, no, people here. People here. Girl. Okay. We, me and you just went so dark. Oh my god! Yeah, but yeah I appreciate I, you coming with that, me though. No, that, yeah, that's not like the, that's some abuse here because you know, it's like Ike Turner and shit. Um, now yeah, anime. And, 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 you, you better eat the cake, anime. Eat the cake, anime. You, you gonna sit? You gonna sit in the economy? Anime, anime. You. I'm, I'm gonna hit the big, big work with, in the business class. You, you, you better get back there in the economy class, girl. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You better hear you. How this horrible are you? Play, you, play, 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 you how horrible though is their relationship that he don't want to talk to her once in a three hour flight? Like what? He's like, bitch, shut up. I'm working this whole time. Don't talk to me. That he probably so don't even be working. He probably yeah. don't even be working. He probably be looking at the same. He got a whole nother family somewhere. He just, <laughs> he just doodling little pebbles on his fucking <laughs> different shaped rocks. This is the rock that's <laughs> I am playing it. No, it looks like I'm playing Angry Birds. But what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm knocking these rocks down to prepare my mind for the natural stones. Yeah, Damn. She, yeah. Well, I hope mm -hmm. she escapes. <laughs> yes. Um, she says the division between them doesn't end there, as she admits 
and what for many wives would be the final straw. Even when we get off the plane, we're like strangers to each other. Yeah, this is this is, this is weird. Somebody save this lady. <laughs> he will he will have a chauffeur waiting for him, and the car whisk him straight off to meetings. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, he oh leave her god. ass at Yo. the airport, y'all. Yo, a marriage, sweetie. He fucking his secretary or something. Y'all niggas roommates. Uh, I have to find myself a taxi. At least he does text me to check in and wrap up. At, At least. Uh, yeah, she is, is, is dumb, dumb. Is she 14? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is happening right now? He was told to start concentrating at nine to have babies. Okay, now all this other stuff is too much responsibility for her. That was such a good call back, man. I'm proud of you. That was a good call back. Yes. <laughs> Just let her sit in the back. <laughs> All they told her was to just have babies, and she don't. She can't understand anything beyond that point. You know what her problem is? She can't even lie right, because her lie should be like, "No, I like sitting in the economy. I prefer that to psh, psh, sitting in business. I don't want to stretch my legs." Yeah, yeah. Well, that pretend. shows that there's something fucked up going on because she's so she's mm -hmm. like giving us clues throughout the whole thing, and that's not all. He leaves mm -hmm. me at the airport too. Like she ain't had to throw that tidbit in, but she wanted to say that shit. She's like, "Say." But me. I love him though. I love him. Bless his heart. He's so fine. He's so fine. He won't even look at me. Mm -hmm. Right, but y'all married, okay? Damn, yo, yeah. they got a picture of him. I gotta put this on screen, y'all. Yeah, man. They got a he gotta be him. a you fucking pimp, though. Look at this picture. In the picture, he looking like bitch. If you don't shut up, look at where, this. Where would it be? Wait, oh, no, it's gonna load on the screen, oh, okay. y'all. <laughs> Give it, give it a second. Karen, let me know when it come up. It's up there. It's up? Yeah. All right. So it, if you can see it on the screen, she kissing him on the cheek. His eyes are like a thousand yards stare, just like, mm, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Just I wish for he's not a dictator or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he look like he is. I'm trying to tell you, there's some other, there gotta be other women somewhere, because it sounds like he don't like her. Yeah, she he's 38. She gonna have to stab that nigga in his sleep, yo. Like, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the only way I see her getting out of situation this is like is is it because of money or some shit i mean because other than that the shit don't make no sense you know the, are you there you know the best part this had to be the best picture she could find yeah you know what i'm saying like okay no not that <laughs> one okay this is a good one for the article right here i'm kissing him where he looks like, like a murderer <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture from snapped where they just zoom in on his eyes yes <laughs> Turn it, turn it black and white like mm -hmm, and that's when it began yeah. this is a weird story man and then yeah. would it how did they find her she like offered up herself for this story like i have an interesting thing <laughs> they, they just walked in a they just walked on a plane was like who is in economy that they got a husband in first class <laughs> why like, well, how is that even a thing that you would think it <laughs> took us a hundred planes <laughs> but we found they one found her Jesus. Oh man, hilarious. Um, so yeah, there's another one. Michelle Sedgemore, who's 49, she endures this fate when her husband John, who works in IT, leaves her to look after their two children, Alexander 13 and Saskia 9, while he swans off the business class. Uh, John claims that his height, six foot five, and the fact that he hates sitting in close proximity to others <laughs> make it impossible. It makes it impossible for him to travel in the economy. John said, That's right. I'm six foot five. I hate my family. That's basically what he just said. But I don't want to sit next to my fucking family. <laughs> I don't want to sit next to you. Y'all strangers to me. He called plane. them motherfuckers others. He called his kids others. I don't like sitting in pro. <laughs> Y'all be making it out hot. Ugh. Uh, as much as Michelle, uh, who a housewife who lives in Sunningdale, Berks, uh, would love to experience the joys of business class, she actually Joy. prefers to have her husband traveling separately to her and their children. John finds economy unbearable. He doesn't like the chatter, hates that too many people are in close proximity and can't bear being crammed into his seat. Yeah, it sounds like he basically cop. He just throws a tantrum every time. And she was like, fine, just sit up front. Yeah. I mean, 6'5 is like crazy to sit in the back. Mm -hmm. I'll give him that. But yeah. This is better than the other dude. That other dude just like, I don't yeah. even like your ass. Damn. Damn. The whole thing going on with them. I feel like he he walked, you know that how you meet at the plane to get off and like he's coming from business class down and she's coming from economy up. I feel like when he sees her, he's like, damn, you still here? 
Oh, okay. All right. See you, though. He don't girl. see her because he already in his car getting whisk away. <laughs> go, <laughs> just keep like going. <laughs> it, it looks like that lady wants to get in. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't care, man. Just go. She's What's... trying to flag us down. Mm. I give you I give you directions when we get out of here. Oh man. Damn. Damn. Oh, it's... That's evil, man. At any rate, though, ladies, you know, the most important thing to do is to have these kids and uh find a good man. Hey. Don't be out here having aspirations and dreams and shit. Uh, <laughs> uh Ray J. You two can get a Mr. Rock. <laughs> you two can marry a rock salesman. <laughs> Some of that organic stone, girl. That real shit. Oh, the bell of the ball. I just killed oh, myself girl. imagining him, him as an actual Mr. Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> he Mr. Flintstone's boss and shit. Uh, what was that dude's name? I can't remember his name. He's that I can't dude. remember, but I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Jetsons. I was about to say Mr. Spacely, wrong no, one. No, no. Oh, Mr. Slate. Mr. Slate. Yeah, she, Mr. She Slate. She married a Mr. Slate and shit. Yeah. Her and, my, ah. her and all the housewives having a meetings and stuff. She's like, what does your husband do? Oh, girl, you know, organic stone. Don't even get me started. He's a workaholic. <laughs> Let me know you need some natural stone, though. You need some natural rocks. <laughs> Got, you. Got you covered. Mm -hmm. Put them right up in your yard. <laughs> Aquariums, uh, all that shit, yeah. Well, we all need rocks. You all know you need them till you need them. You know what I'm saying? That's what we always say. <laughs> you trying to skip something at a lake? We got you, girl. Got you, we got you. So, uh, <laughs> it's so, my business uh, card. It's a rock with my name written on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, his, okay. his his business card is just—he just give you a pebble. That's his business card. <laughs> Go, dog. Yeah, that's me. I'm obsessed with this now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, look, look, I don't want to take that last story for granted. You go about to get, get all this hate mail from rock from rock salesmen. <laughs> yes, they're gonna throw that. First of we all, it's a distinguished it. job. I have a college <laughs> degree. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sediment. <laughs> I got my masters in rockology. Yeah. And you think it's a joke? Oh, oh um, my God. I'm a rock scientist. That's all I do is study rocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so um, <laughs> we we got a word for y'all in our profession. We called y'all sedentary. <laughs> y'all sedentary rocks. Oh, y'all on the bottom. We on the top of the crust of the earth. You ain't making no moves, you know? <laughs> you said is, it you was is you a stalactite or a stalagmite, nigga? Think about it. Think about it. Um, all right. Okay, sorry. Spe <laughs> speaking, speaking of rocks, um, Ray J of uh Kim Kardashian sex tape fame mm -hmm. and being Brandy's little brother, he is upset at Kanye's new video <laughs> where um called Famous, where he basically had sculptures made of a bunch of famous people. Mm -hmm. That uh had them naked in the uh in, in the sculptures and basically filmed it and then put music under it. I, I don't know, Janelle. Have you seen this? Uh, this not in full. I seen okay. enough of it to make me feel like I saw it. <laughs> this is basically the 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 artwork that he's talking about. Right. Well, he he's very upset. Okay, Ray J is extremely upset about this. He's 35 years old. He famously, of course, co-starred in Kim Kardashian's sex tape in 2007. Uh, He's in the video? Mm-hmm. He, he was the one yeah. having sex with Kim Kardashian. No, no, no. And he's in, in Kanye's video? Yeah, he's one of the sculptures. If you, he should be, let's see, the black dude on the right in the picture, he's, that's him. Behind the butt or in front of the butt? Yeah, behind, behind the, the butt. butt. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And he can uh and like I I haven't watched the ten minute because it just wasn't that interesting to me. But apparently, if you watch the whole ten minute video, you can like kind of see his dick. So they have his dick in there. Um, mm, I might go back well, and watch it now. I didn't right? know his dick you know? in it. No. <laughs> you know, you gotta get do your research. I turned it off too soon. Fuck. Okay, right? go ahead. What if that, what if he becomes a suspect later? That's oh, but wait, true. it's Ray J's dick. Nobody wants to see Ray J's dick. My All bad. Right, Continue. Hit, hit it, hit it with that swack swack. Catch 22. 
Um, yes. So apparently, um, he's he's talking. His business manager said they're talking about potentially suing Kanye because there's too many times Kanye has done this, and you can't really continue to use people's likeness without either compensation or clearance. Nobody uh, knew it was you, boo. No, because I sure didn't recognize him. Like, <laughs> it seems to be about you, Ray J. He got to threaten to sue so people do know it's him. You know, right? That was me. I'm suing because it's definitely me, second to the right. Okay, it is definitely me in the video, and I'm very upset. He's the male version of what men say women are like. Just fucking don't ain't doing shit, trying to climb on somebody's fame. You know what I mean? Like he's like a gold digger at this point. Like, dude, go drop an album or some shit. Ugh. You know what's crazy is he's rich off of that sex tape. Yes, he is still like, getting paid off of it. Kim Kardashian is so famous. That he gets he getting residuals. The residuals yeah. for the sex tape is enough God money damn. for him. Right? That shit's mad boring too. Like that's really what's a thing. No, I mean shit. At least put on the show. That's a hell of a gig right there, dog. Like for the rest of your like, life. How rich? You know? <laughs> uh, how like rich is I, I forget what it was, but it was enough. It was in the hundreds of thousands per, like either per month or per quarter. Wow. God damn residual. you, America. <laughs> and he just gets a percentage of what uh, Kim Kardashian she gets. gets. So she gets the rest. Yeah, who well, knows yeah, how much? I know her shit is ridiculous. Like, Man. I mean, anytime I've never, I've never willfully watched anything they've ever been on, and I know so much about them. That just shows you, like, they I've really never are. watched their show. I, I avoid it. And I just, I know so much about it. I don't even know how the fuck that shit got in my brain. <laughs> they really are the best at that. Like, it's yeah. some type of super. It's almost power. admirable. It, to me, it is admirable, even though I would never want it for myself. Mm -mm. And I don't really, like, I don't know how you quantify what they do. But them motherfuckers are so famous. I don't watch anything they do. And I still know everything. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit is crazy. I don't know. I mean, they also yeah. came out at the right time. They came out right when internet celebrity shit was, you know, before everybody was trying to be an internet yeah. celebrity. So they just right, right, just like how Amy Schumer came out right when that white feminism shit was popping, and that helped her go. This that was the same thing. Their timing was like really good. I don't like they they just fuck black dudes and and have big fake butts, and the motherfuckers are all famous. I don't know how. Yeah. I don't know how that's working, right? That like, never happened for a black woman, <laughs> right? You do that if you're a black woman, you just be hookers on the point, you know, part seven. Yeah, or lead the fucking country, yo. Right, love and hip hop, thirty seven. Oh, uh, love and hip hop, Nebraska. You know, like you would never yeah. make it. Um, I mean, yeah, they they, they do in America right though. That's what that's how this shit works here. What's amazing though is Ray J is talking about suing. But he made a song called I Hit It First. Come on, dog. Uh, he, when Kim Kardashian was dating uh, Reggie Bush, he made some type of uh, like lyric that was like, it was Ray J's Bush first or something like that. Mm -hmm. So he's been monetizing his proximity to since, Kim since the beginning. Right. When and now he's he like, this is too much content. Related to fucking her. I never heard him just like, oh, Ray J doing something. <laughs> anything mm -hmm. <laughs> and now he's like i'm tired of kanye it's gone too far he keeps bringing me up it's like dude you nah, he's just this... mad because he ain't bringing himself up right this is his gig right, uh, right. ain't that brandy's brother no <laughs> he's right. still brandy's think... brother brandy's little brother at any rate speaking of uh speaking of uh singers uh backstreet boy nick carter you guys may know him from Backstreet Boys. Uh, he apparently paid six figures in a settlement to a bouncer that he choked out during a Florida bar fight. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> was this like the smallest bouncer in the world? That's what I'm like. You know, I'm trying to, trying to remember which Backstreet Boy was yoked. Maybe they've been working yeah. out since the last time. We saw I beat up by uh, a 40-year-old boy van member, dog. Damn. Everybody. <laughs> you think he must have been like 
Yes. Yeah, he must have called him insane, and he was like, "What motherfucker?" I mean, he got, he got a little smirk, like, "I be in ball fights." That's what his yeah. face gives me. I beat a bouncer ass, dog. I choke you, his ass out. You think he broke out and dance with? Choked him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly hope so. He did three. He did. Yeah. Before he got started, he said, "And five and six. <laughs> I didn't get that count right. <laughs> You know they did. They were totally counting all that shit back then. He was like, and one, and two, and three, and four, and choke. Mm -hmm. uh, and heel, and toe, and heel, and toe, and slash. Um, <laughs> huh. So, oh, go ahead, Janelle. What are you saying? No, 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 nothing. Okay. All right. So, he has to do, the case will be expunged uh, as long as he completes 24, 25 hours of community service. 25. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And he also had a battery charge uh, expunged as well. He did this because he was refused entry into the Hog's Breath Saloon in Key West. Oh, that's not like the now, one that's so interesting that he gets to have his shit expunged. They didn't even say dropped. Like, mm. no record of it ever occurring if he just does his community service. Damn, that's so white. He became, <laughs> right? he became angry when he was refused service. Uh, by the way, that right there is white. Because if you tell a black person they can't come in the club, we all okay. go, that's what I thought. Like, oh, so they racist. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. I want to go somewhere else, so y'all going to go in without me. This like, that's literally like the only you question. Know who I am. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He stopped moving. He get background. That was like, why did a flash mob just happen behind you, dog? What's happening here? Where did this random music come from? <laughs> I'm leaving now, but in a minute, back streets back. All right, <laughs> <laughs> strobe lights and shit. I was like, oh, I got a full fledged concert. Oh. Didn't know it. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, shit. You got to be at least in his late forties. Still getting what? in ball fights. Oh, them mm. niggas. Oh, dog. Uh yeah, loser. But he couldn't help himself. You know who I am. <laughs> you are. My fire, <laughs> the one. Oh Lord! The, wait a minute, are you in Backstreet Boys? Yeah. Goddamn right! Oh, sorry, sir. Come on in. <laughs> oh wait, it's 2016. You still can't come in. What's wrong with you? Uh, um, that song reminds anyway. me of a story. Real, real mm, quick. One time I was on the road and a guy. I was uh, behind a club smoking a cigarette and a guy took his dick out and started singing that song to me in an alley and I had to like run away. <laughs> no. so that's what that song brings up for me, Rod. Seeing some strange dick in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Dick Detective. Ooh. I don't know. Singing I don't the know. Backstreet how... Boys. <laughs> I, I, I that's literally... going to be a skit on the show. I do not understand how women navigate this world. It's crazy. That is crazy. You get it's dicks everywhere. I don't think y'all realize it, it is plentiful. It oh, is. I understand. It's just I don't understand what I do with that knowledge. <laughs> and it didn't even happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be talking about that every day of my life. Now you gotta look. Now you gotta yeah, that's probably every time you hit the back, your boys, you gotta have to think about dick now. Sorry. Right. Yeah, you are one of the my five. Five. Oh, put your dick away. Put your dick away. <laughs> Come on, man. My one, no, no. Uh, no. As long as they don't sing pants. a song I really like, you know what I mean? Ah! Then I can never listen to it again and shit. Play <laughs> <laughs> dick out, be like, up to the hip, hot to the no, no, you ruined it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god. I'll never listen to classic hip hop again. <laughs> <laughs> don't push me, cuz no, no, no. That's because you, you ain't seen that. the dick, man. I can't listen to Backstreet oh, Boys anymore. Oh, that's because you you just you you seeing the dick secondhand. I'm describing it. To, you didn't see it. That's why you can still listen. Now to I'll, it. I'll never get it out of my head, and I didn't even see the dick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank God I don't listen to them. Everybody, uh, he was doing like that. With <laughs> <it>. <laughs> you know, just, just snapping it around and shit. Mm -hmm. Helicopter in the dick. Yes, <laughs> got to swing it everywhere. Balls just <laughs> jiggling. <laughs> My question is, does he practice that routine? Like, is that, I guarantee he does. Like, was Janelle just a special one, or was he just like, okay, maybe next he was out. rehearsing for another show, <laughs> and I walked yeah. in on him. You never know. We a warm up act. Yeah, I can guarantee you, he has pulled this rabbit out the hat a many a time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, so apparently, when he was refused service, he got very mad. Uh, he and a friend arrived at the bar at seven p.m. already drunk. 
Hey, drop. It is, it is. It did happen in Florida, Karen. Oh, so that's oh, it's in Florida. He a redneck or some shit. That's some real redneck shit that's happening right now. Yeah, yeah. Fighting yeah, in a bar, sure. forty eight years old, drunk when you get there, fucking two p.m. Like that's some redneck <laughs> shit. That's some roadhouse shit. Yeah. Uh, I used to fuck guys tougher than you in prison. <laughs> Wow, well, I certainly don't want to fight you anymore, sir. Mm. <laughs> this guy, good. this just went weird. Uh, I was uh, weird. That's a that's a real line from Roadhouse. Niggas, niggas drove. Know. They drove to a I bar drunk. Know. Probably a mm-hmm. pickup truck. Yeah, I'm seeing this whole shit. <laughs> yeah. So <Rocket> apparently. <laughs> Uh, witnesses told TMZ <laughs> that Carter's friend Michael Papayans headbutted the bar manager after demanding to be given a drink. Damn, uh, I think they were headbutts. If that's not the trashiest shit, who's headbutting people in the street? Like what? Oh, a drink. Like some soccer hooligans <laughs> and shit. According to the source, police eventually turned up to investigate the altercation and arrested Carter. He was heard telling police the bar staff acted like Navy SEALs. The site does a very specific re- reference. Yes. The site also said that Carter and Papayans were already restrained by the staff when police showed up with Papayans having a bloody face, hands, and knees. Then they uh, they then booked the star for misdemeanor battery according to arrest documents. His occupation was listed as none. Ah! Shade. That is super shade. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yo, what is your, they don't even your occupation? do any reunion. Reunion cruises right. are nothing, huh? <laughs> what is your occupation? I'm a singer. In what group? Backstreet Boys? Okay, put no. down none. <laughs> no job. You got nothing. Now sit in the back, drunky. Yeah, but we did, a, we did a wedding in July. <laughs> <laughs> put down has been. Put we down just, has been for his occupation. We just did a bar mitzvah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> days, days after the arrest, Carter tweeted, I am human, and at times it can be a struggle to balance a healthy lifestyle. I'm not perfect, and for that, I am sorry. This dude is a loser, yo. Like, what are you doing? Why is he issuing a statement? Who cares? You're in the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> he, said, he said, I struggle to balance a healthy lifestyle, though. Like, it's a nutritious meal, dog. I guess like it's some, it like is. it's some, 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 some cereal in the morning. Oh, my God. These stories are the best. You know how to pick wow. a new story. He, he wrote that shit like he fuck around and ate cake on on the on one on the <laughs> non uh the, you know the, the non cheat day or some shit. I was carving a little heavy that day. <laughs> and things we, really went left. A lot of wheat. Left, I, I know I had a cake and a cinnamon bun. Oh, I, I guys, just couldn't help myself. You guys know I struggle with gluten. Okay. <laughs> And I'm just gonna come right clean and say it. I was not practicing a healthy lifestyle that day, and I had to headbutt some motherfuckers <laughs> in the face. Okay. Yes, it I love as, as it happens. As the potatoes would just come. As it happened to all of us. Mm-hmm. You starch up. You starch up too much, ah! and next thing you know, yeah, you're going downtown in the pokey. <laughs> uh, his wife gave of two years gave birth to a son, Odin Rain, on April 19th. Uh, <laughs> Odin Rain is such a good First white all, person. I was just gonna say that, like, if you don't fucking comment on that name, <laughs> how, hey, how you think they spell Rain? You know it's R A Y N E. You know it is. It's, you know it is. Okay, Odin. What do you think it is? R R E I R E. Ooh, that's even that's even more country yeah. time rock rockabilly. Yeah. It's like a Game of Thrones character or some shit. Odin Rain. That does sound like a Game of Thrones character. That Odin like, Rain. A Metall- like a Metallica song. <laughs> <laughs> he will rule the gods of Thunder Rock. Oh my God. What's that, uh, that group that Jack Black is in? You know, his oh. like, duo that sounds like some yeah. one of their songs. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, Odin now Rain. That's oh. Ah, it's gonna, uh, man, I'm, I brought it up now. Wait, I'm going to look it up over here. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, tenacious D, tenacious D. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so apparently, um, he, uh, yeah. So that's what happened to him, dog. He, uh, what was it say Carter? He had a run in with the Florida police in 2002, but he was 21 years old. He was busted on suspicion of refusing to follow police orders to vacate the nightclub Pop City. That's a very long way to go to arrest somebody, by the way. 
Um, and then a brawl brawl broke broke out inside that time. So I guess this dude been a troublemaker since way back. He must have been the bad boy of the rock group of the of the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, I don't even remember <laughs> what the fuck they look like to even know which one that is. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Poor white guy. Mm-hmm. A white dude with uh with his with a uh, faux hawk. So I mean, faux hawk. I mean, it's all of them, guys. It's all of them. We should start a Kickstarter. Uh, he <laughs> <laughs> uh, needs a kickstart right, on uh, his life. Yes, he does. <laughs> we got uh, let's see. Uh, we'll do. I guess we'll do this serious ass story. I didn't even want to do it, but uh, police killed another nigga, y'all. Ah, it's Tuesday. Um, it's Tuesday. Yep. Uh, now, uh, people are getting. Uh, I think people are kind of getting the word out about this one because apparently there was film of it. But this dude, Alton Sterling, got shot by the cops, like, point blank, right in the head. Oh! Um, it was, thank you. Yeah, it was on film. Of course, everybody was sharing and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm at that point now where I can't even, like, watch some of this shit. Oh, no, no, no. I, I quit that a long time ago. I believe y'all. I don't. Yeah. Like, I, can't for it. I can't watch Terrible. or comment on it anymore. I'm just like, I yeah. just... <laughs> Yeah, because on, on Facebook, I, I turned off a while about the three after Trayvon Martin. I immediately turned off the uh, auto plays because mm-hmm. Facebook had a bad habit of just shit just rolling. I made it all stop. See, what I did is I kept auto play on, but now I only follow people that tweet about twerking and shit. So, mm-hmm. automatic so, works. I, right. Okay, I get it. <laughs> like, I definitely want to see auto play on those. You don't have to ask. Just go on ahead, ladies. Hey, Rod. Um, something. Hey, Rod. <laughs> Something's going on with the microphones. I can. Oh, okay. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. Um. All right. I'm back. Okay. Yeah. That's How we signing cool. now, guys? Let me know in the chat. But uh, yeah. So basically, um, yeah, he got shot on video, and everybody's upset. Uh, police stole the surveillance footage from the um, from the um convenience the store, store where he was store. shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but, but I'm but sure they I had saw, great reasons. Did you see? They did said see, uh, they a see. group who is some organization that listens to police scanners. Mm-hmm. And and drive to locations of what they think will be violent art um altercations. It's some group that's who filmed it. But mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to find it. Wow, really? It wasn't like a bystander. It's like people who are actively trying to film police encounters mm-hmm. with people. When I find it, I'll tell you. I just saw it right before we started. Well, if the video I saw, I don't know. Like, if them motherfuckers was professionals, they ain't sound so professional. Well, that professional, they got like it's like volunteers, so they have cell phone cameras, mm-hmm. just like everyone else. They sounded just like me if I seen somebody get shot. They were yeah. surprised. I'm like, God damn, they shot him. They're like, he shot him. Yes. Only thing I didn't hear next was a car driving off because I would have been like, Vroom. oh gosh. But uh, yeah, apparently, if I find, if I find it, I'll, I'll put it. Up. Anyway, oh, yeah. let me know. Let me know. I just thought uh, that was interesting that that exists now. Like people who are doing that. I mean, yeah. I mean, you. They. It should. I. I wonder what it. What America would have been like if cell phone cameras and the internet and shit had been around fifty years ago. You right. Know? Like I don't think this shit has gotten. I don't know that it's gotten worse. I just think we see more of it. You oh know? yeah, definitely. I'm sure there were others today that we won't hear about because this one is, is uh, trending. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, they were uh, apparently you know, the thing was like, Oh, he was holding a gun, no, he didn't have a gun. Uh, you can see on the video, um, and he was shot repeatedly after being pinned to the ground, so he wasn't even oh. like able to get up. Um, from the video, I saw like they were on his arms, so he couldn't move his arms. So, um, I mean, it's that classic. Put your hands up, lay down thing, you know, that they do. Like, you can't do both, you know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. we can only do one, but we're we're going to lean on your arms, you know, so. Stand up, get on the ground. He's resisting, stop resisting, you know, that shit. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. uh, the, The video of the shooting was captured by chance by members of Stop the Killing, Inc., a local anti violence activist group. 
that wow. listens to police scanners and shows up at the scene of potentially violent confrontations to take video. That's what holy it's shit, right? Yo, them, they the real heroes because man, yeah. I know they got to be founded on by. <laughs> it was founded by author Silky Slim Reed, okay. a former <laughs> gang member, mm. former like gang that. leader turned anti-violence activist. So okay, I'm familiar cool. with his work. I'm familiar yeah. with his work. I believe he was in uh, the film uh, The Mac. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, it was his bitch that got chose. Silky um, Slim. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, hey man, we appreciate. it. I might have read yeah. something about Silky. I'm gonna look you know, up. I'm gonna look into it because that sounds very interesting. Yeah, I read a lot of trash black. Uh, uh, I see. Books. So <laughs> I, may, I may have read some Silky Slim. You never know. Now you, you still ain't that? I didn't know. Hmm. Um. All right. <laughs> you gotta recommend me some some good ones one day. Uh, food stamp bitches is my favorite so far. You know, but food I'm working on. Bitches. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on um side bitch dreams main. No, wait, main bitch dreams side bitch status. That's the one I'm reading now. So sounds juicy. Little- sounds juicy. <laughs> <laughs> People have problems, and you know, art imitates life, is what they say. Main bitch dreams, mm-hmm. side bitch status, problems, mm-hmm. status. Yeah, that is yeah, genius. No. <laughs> it, it's so good. I mean, I really feel so like genius. people do a lot of disservice to themselves by hating on those. Um, but that is really gen- that's a genius title. Like, what sometimes the titles make me buy them alone, I don't even <laughs> read the books. That's why titles own. exist, Ron. It will, it will still be like it's a book. <laughs> Just, that's true. They say don't judge a book Open by its cover. I say time. nay. <laughs> I do judge a book by its cover and its title, and I will buy that shit. Yes. <laughs> Can you uh, imagine religion? if all books were just like buy me and see? <laughs> <laughs> Find out what kind of book I am when you when you get the fuck home. Don't worry about mm-hmm. it. <laughs> that's really what a date is, if you think about it. Date is just buying a book, a meal for what's cover. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Damn, you so deep, man. Hey, man. That's why I they listen to the show, man. Religious people say they don't watch porn, but internet data says otherwise. Duh, yoy. <laughs> we finally we found it. Um... <laughs> A study published June 2nd in the Sexual Addiction and Compulsivity, the Journal of Treatment and Prevention, aimed to find out how people who self-identified as very religious based on how they rated the importance of religious in their li- religion in their lives and the degree of their religi- religiosity. What? Religiosity? Religiosity. There we go. Uh, would react to paradoxical findings about religious individuals' p- porn use. Many religious Americans consider watching porn to be deviant behavior or sinful addiction. An attempt to address it through online software that prevents individuals from accessing porn or through therapy for people who are, quote unquote, addicted to it. Watching porn excessively to the point that it disrupts an individual's daily life is generally considered problematic, uh, says study co-author Cara McInnes of the University of Calgary. But some highly religious individuals might view the most minimal uh, pornography use that is likely not problematic to represent an addiction. Uh, now, you used to be a dominatrix. Did you get a lot of religious clientele? Of course. You- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hasidic Jews, biggest clients. I mean, who's really? more obsessed with fucking than people who can't fuck? Like, once you do it a couple times and it stop, you stop being, you know what it is, you wouldn't be that fucking obsessed with it. Like, yeah. I guess it, would it take, does it take a lot to get them off? Because I feel like if you can't even, like, touch a woman in real life, then there's, like, you know. Oh, you graze uh, my. Oh well, shit. I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but anyway, a lot of motherfuckers is freaks. Like they're they're supposed to be like pious and whatever, but they they love prostitutes. You know, I'm talking about the ones in New York. Like everybody knows, there's like specific uh, strip clubs that Hasidic men go to, and yeah, they're uh, mm. the two times I've been felt up on the subway have been Hasidic Jews. <laughs> like literally felt up. <laughs> so, Damn. Yeah. They just walk up to you and feel on you in the subway? You know, subways be like packed. Mm, you yeah. know, like, oh, I'm, br- I'm bumping yeah. into you by mistake type bullshit, you know. And then you turn around uh, and when you, when you turn around <laughs> and like, you are 
my fire. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes, I'm at you, girl. <laughs> I Circle. want Circle. Circle. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. At any rate, these religious people be watching porn and they find it to be problematic. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, so a lot of the people that came with me had like religious, not only Hasidics, but like a lot of religious like hang ups, you know. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, they saw me masturbation, maybe go to hell, and that just made me masturbate all the fucking time. <laughs> you know what I mean? And how it's like, um, it's almost like you do whatever it, the thing is that makes you feel bad, and then you do like absolution for it, like you ask for forgiveness, 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 and that's like part of the the whole fetish, like doing the mm -hmm. bad thing and asking for forgiveness, all of that shit gets them off. It just, it's, it fucks people up. Mm. So, all right, well, yeah. to each their own, you know. Like free <laughs> no, it's fly. not. It's just, uh, it's not to each their own. Like they need to, uh, you know, I mean, strictly they, it needs to go away. It doesn't make sense oh, in the modern world. Yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Yeah, the stigma and all that shit, it's all bad. It just makes people fucked yeah. up. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You know, I was trying not to be too controversial, but yeah, I agree. You gotta let that shit go. Okay, come at me. I'm already at 5,000. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> She already owned the list, okay? You know? No so. um, before the list, Jan Jan Janelle would have been like, um, can we take a poll of the audience see how they feel first? But now she's like, on the, could you like, oh, the oh. Part, Or is this like live? I wasn't aware. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are some fucking freaks. Um, <laughs> you're the sick ones. Look at me. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the one with the problem. You're the one with the problem. Anyway, these motherfucking religious people be lying. That's all. That was really yeah. to sum that up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get into guess the race. I feel like we were fucked with enough because they killed another black person. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just. I'm assume a hundred for everyone and go right to um go right to our guest the race game. As soon as I get to the guest the race music, take your time, Spotify. It's no rush. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Now that it's time for some guest the race. That's right, it's guest the race time. Now that it's time for some guest the race. That's right, it's guess the race time. That's right, it's time for Guess the Race, the number one game show going across all the podcast land. We read and play news articles from all over the globe. And we ask our contestants today, Janelle James, to guess the race. And the chat room plays along. And the chat room is extremely racist. All right. <laughs> Let's get to the first story. And, and by the way, these sessions are limited to 90 minutes, guys, but I will create a new session and bring everybody over and we'll just kind of keep it going at that point. But uh, we're going to still get into this guest race. All right. A man punched a 300 pound black bear in the face and escaped with only scratches. Shit. Mm -hmm. Now, we already know the bear is black. So we're guessing the race of the man. A uh, <laughs> 61 year old Ontario man has said he really lucked out by suffering only scratches after taking on a 300-pound black bear. Rick Nelson said he was walking his dog on Sunday afternoon when he came across the bear's cub who poked his head out of a shrub just feet away from him so close he could touch it. But disaster soon followed for the former bear hunter after the club let out a loud yelp. It let out a yelp because I scared the heck out of it, he said. I knew right away I was in trouble. It's calling for mommy. Nelson also knew he had only seconds remaining before the mother bear would be arriving, so he quickly stood up. Moments later, he heard a crashing noise in the bush as the bear came forward him, towards him full speed. He was then faced with the bear, who was standing in front of him on her hind legs. Looking around, he realized there were no rocks or a stick in sight that he could use to fight the bear off. But, with, <laughs> but he did have practice boxing. Oh, shit, now. So he put them boxing lessons to use, took a swing at the bear, and he missed, only hitting it in the teeth. That's the opposite of where I would put my hand on the bear. I kind of want to fuck that's this like, dude. That's what the bear wants. That's what the bear wants, and, and, and you don't want. He's like, oh man, I only hit him in his tooth. 
The bear struck back, scratching him across the face and chest. Of course it struck back. I knew it would swing first, but with his left, but it would really come with his right because most bears are right-handed. Oh, shit, now. <laughs> I would have died, yo. Who is this, Paul Bunyan? Right? Oh, uh, uh, he's so much more of a man than me. I would have I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to fuck this dude. Like, <laughs> like. Out of his screen. Man, you say they, oh. they went toe to toe with a bear and shit. This nigga like jabbing and shit. Oh, bear is like. <laughs> as soon as that bear got on his high legs, I'd be like, ah! Be like, yeah. Oh, it's going to die. Eat my dog. Eat my dog. This thing like, Don't eat me. Wipe it off the blood. I knew he would be right handed because his weight was on his left. And uh, <laughs> no, you'd have been like that man. Eat my wife. She 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 flies second class. <laughs> you say his name is Nelson. Like, yeah. Nelson, the four but, and also, bear hunter slash boxer. <laughs> You know, my favorite part is that if I survived the bear attack, this is the story I would tell. Like, I don't, you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm like, yeah, son. So, like, I jacked that motherfucker in his jaw. It's like, you know, get up off of me, black exactly. bear. Nobody's ran from a bear <laughs> story. You got to fight a bear first. <laughs> you get your motherfucking cub and get out of my backyard. You know what I'm saying? You, so, I mean, anyway. You all know he's white. I'm going to go with white. Uh, <laughs> All right, J Janelle's guessing white. Let's not uh, that it's 2016, it can't be black dudes in the woods, but that's a white. <laughs> uh, he said, You want to make sure if you punch a bear that you're hitting it straight in the snout. That's really the only oh. thing you have on a bear that will really startle it. Following Nelson's second swing, the cub let out another yelp and began making its way out of the area. Now was the moment of truth, Nelson told CBC. What's this bear going to do? Is it going to follow his cub or going to come after me? The mother bear turned around and it was snorting blood. It looked at me and it thought, and I thought, oh no, here it comes. As he braced for the worst, the bear ended up turning around and walking off behind his cub. I was really luck. I really lucked out there. Uh, following the ordeal, Nelson said he is thankful he knew how to throw a punch. Believe me, when you got adrenaline pumping, you can hit. Even at 61 with gray hair, you can still hit hard. Yeah. 61. You're about to get so much milk pussy mm -hmm. with this story. Uh, you said it's in Canada? It's in. What the fuck did this happen? Uh, it sounds like some Canadian shit. Now. Ontario. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. White. Canada. All right. Let's, uh, let's check the chat room for their guesses. Uh, Revenant returns white, white man with the power of Ali in him. You know he transcended race. <laughs> Canadian Jeff Irwin white. Surprise he didn't headbutt the bear in the face white. Only white guy who would fight a bear, an impossible Caucasian. Rocky always beats the black boxer. If it was a polar bear, he would have left the bear alone white. <laughs> he got universal health care. That uh he wait, he had universal health care actually Word works white. The, the bear was trying to get my cheese white cracker from the six. From the six. Aww. Anyway, everybody got it right. He was white. Yeah, that's they and still I'll dominate what... in bear fighting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, if I'm fighting a bear, give me a white man. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Here, here he is, uh, that that's him right there. No, you know, 61. Look good for a 61 year old. Yeah, he does. You know, got him some tattoos and everything. I think he got the owl from Drake. I think he got Drake yeah. owl on his So there you go. You're like, yeah, I'm OVO, baby. Um no, thanks. All right. So I'm gonna switch sessions real quick and invite everybody back and get everybody back on screen. It'll only take a second, guys. Let me see. Add new session. DVD, WT, yeah, everybody just a swap Janelle, over. James part two. And what time? So we'll just say 10 08. And uh, all right, I'll be right back, guys. Let's see. I see your faces. All right. You need to go to getbevel.com. Mm hmm. Uh, make sure you go to getbevel.com 
and use code TBGWT. Get 20% off your first month at getbevel.com. That's G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L.com. Get clear, smooth skin with Bevel. Don't you want that? That man, that white man had a close shave with a black bear, but you need to have a close shave on your face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so go to getbevel.com. Use code TBGWT. Do you have to re-invite us? Yeah, I had to invite y'all again. Give me one second. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm inviting you. Yes. And uh, you see Janelle in there yet? Mm. Yeah, she should have moved over. Uh oh, I hope I didn't lose her. You shouldn't have, because she was in the chat, wasn't she? There's, no, that's not her. Uh, there we go. I see her. I just invited her back. Might as well do the second sponsor too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so until uh, we get everybody back on screen, this episode uh, of Guess the Race is also brought to you by Loot Crate. That's right. Uh, Loot Crate is a box of goodness that you get on your doorstep every month. Mm -hmm. It's a monthly mystery crate filled with exclusive items from the biggest and best pop culture franchises. Go to lootcrate.com slash TBGWT and enter code TBGWT when you go to checkout and you get $3 off of any new subscription. For less than $20 a month, you get six to eight items that include licensed gear, apparel, collectibles, unique one-of-a-kind items, and even more. Um... Also, uh, you need to sign up by the 19th of every month, okay? So if you wait till after the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific time, you shit out of luck, dog. So make sure you go to Loot Crate because this month is futuristic as the theme, and it comes with such things as, like, Rick and Morty gear, which I'm really looking forward to. It's my favorite show. Futurama, Star Trek, uh, Mega Man, all kinds of stuff, man. So, yeah, we take pictures, and uh, we're also going to give away some Loot Crate stuff uh coming soon so yes be on the lookout for that uh we're gonna hook y'all up mm-hmm. all right let's see if we can get back to uh what we were doing uh janelle you there yeah can you hear me all right cool all right let's get to the next story on this racism but everybody got it right white man beat up a bear yeah there you go um all right story number two together we are the perfect woman sugar baby sisters tell how they seduced wealthy benefactors as a duo but admit their family is clueless about their lucrative dating lives Mm. two sisters reveal why they are on the hunt for one business savage sugar daddy to be their mentor as they admit their family has no idea they are seeking wealthy benefactors who will shower them with gifts now i don't understand the sugar the sugar daddy thing do these people fuck or not so sometimes they do sometimes they sometimes don't. They, yeah what she said because <laughs> there's another it just depends. oh my god people are so fucked up but there's a fetish for everything there's a fetish called a wealth fetish where the dudes get off and just taking care of people monetarily like being taken of them i know right uh i don't know why aren't mm. all women aren't doing this but there aren't probably aren't a lot of them who can afford it but anyway there's people who are like mm. uh money doms threaten a lot of the men are married so they'll almost blackmail them like if you don't give me this money i'll tell your wife and then he gives her the money but he gets off on it it's like a consensual blackmail (laughs) so sugar babies or whatever the ones who don't sleep Mm. with the men it's the same thing except they just do it in person it's like Mm. a mess anyway but when you got a lot of money and fucking time you can develop all type of (laughs) all type of (laughs) <laughs> you ever talk to a really rich dude about sex? Yes, they sound so fucking bored. You they know what I mean? Them. Like they've done so much and they develop crazy shit to get off with. Of. Yeah. Is that why? Maybe that's why all the retired basketball players and and older uh, celebrity dudes all date the same eighteen year old chick. Maybe they just that's all they want now. You know. They've sought the bottom of, of, of life, you know. and the only thing left is fucking 18 year old chicks ever and over and over again, apparently. Oh. I know. Conversation got to be shitty. Uh, <laughs> Shari, 25, and Jagger Grand, 28, from Los Angeles, are members of Seeking Arrangement, the controversial dating site that pairs attractive young women with rich older men. But unlike most sugar babies, these sisters are a package deal. Now, that's man white. <laughs> Together, we make the perfect. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Together we make the perfect woman. Uh, Jagger, who asked to be referred to by that name that she uses on the website. That's what we always tell men. We have so many similarities to share so much anyway. So why not travel together? Mm. Now, all these pictures they got are sexy as fuck. It didn't, like, none of these pictures look like, because we want to be friends. No, yeah, they cry uh, fucking. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Yeah, these pictures look like, like I will uh, break your old dick. Freelance, man. freelance call girls, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these pictures all look like you better pack two Viagra tonight, okay? <laughs> Shari, who was introduced to the site by one of her friends, said that she was having so much fun being a sugar baby that she encouraged her older sister Jagger to join as well. I wanted to try it. She seemed like she was having fun, and we always laughed about the messages she was receiving, so finally I joined. The two sisters in- insist that potential suitors love the fact that they are willing to share a man. And Jagger said sugar daddies are typically surprised, intrigued, and turned on by the situation. Their home life is usually so boring, we keep them laughing and having fun as soon as they meet us, she said. And Shari agreed that they have way more fun together than apart. We truly are the perfect woman together. We are different in many ways, but we compliment the conversation. She finishes. It's great. Shari added that dating together helps them keep keep them protected when they are meeting strangers for the on the site from the first time. Oh, yes. Just in case mm-hmm. one dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can jump his ass mm-hmm. if you try some bullshit. Right. That's smart. Signing up to be. I mean, why not just jump him and take his money anyway? anyway well, they sound, uh, <laughs> they sound like they into site. that. So the other part, uh, too. So. They don't see. They don't. You know, right. Uh, they don't sound like they're being forced to do anything. <laughs> they sound like they into it. <laughs> ah shit. Yeah. Shari and like Dagger sounds ball. white. Signing up. Sorry, Jagger? Shari oh, and Jagger. J a g g e r. Yeah. Like Nick Jagger, I guess. Um, signing up to be sugar babies opened many doors for the sisters, but neither went into details about the amount of money and gifts they're given by benefactors. A sugar babe never talks number, but my gifts are beautiful and I always appreciate a good allowance, Jagger said. However, she did say that traveling the beaches of Thailand was one of her dreams and she is going to Italy in September, which is a destination that is on her bucket list. And while one would presume that sharing a partner with their sibling could lead to bad blood, Shari and Jagger insisted that is not the case. We respect each other so much. If we like the same sugar, we let them decide. If the sugar prefers one of us, we decide. Nothing will break us up. Uh, As for the levels of intimacy, she said that there are many variables and it's really about being the best company they ever had. (laughs) Some of them might not want to have sex with them. Okay. Somebody fucking. Yeah, Yeah, but most of them do. Ain't nobody going to Italy for free. Um... In addition to the sugar daddies they share, the women also have their own individual benefactors. I bet you they flying first class. Oh, so sugar babies can have Look, more than I'm one sugar like, daddy. Well, to That's smart. Parts. I don't I didn't care. Know you do that. I didn't think of that. Hmm. That's how I would do it. You know, if I was going to be a sugar babe, I would want more than one sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck that. You're not about to be dominating my life. I only have one that's with your you. allowance. Well, I got three other ones. I'm good. I mean, most of them, uh, most of the sugar daddies are probably uh, married anyway, so they can't afford to spend all their time with them anyway. So might as well get more than one. Right. Man, I have all of them in my Google calendar. Be rotating names. Ah, Do it, girls. Uh, Anyway. (laughs) I'm not mad at them at all. That's white. So Janelle, that's the race of Shari and Jagger. But not to be all so fucking proud and broadcasting that shit like that. Nah, this some white girl shit. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Uh, Let's check the chat room and see what they believe. Karen, did you already ask? Mm -hmm. All right, let me scroll up and see what... Okay. We are trying to get out of the hood, set it off black. Light, bright, and two shades from white. Light skin privilege, but they still black. It takes two black people to equal a person according to pro- the Constitution. Oh. Two white women lost in the sauce. <laughs> Empower white women right, only yeah. because they are white. Otherwise, it would be considered prostitution. <laughs> oh. Sounds like a bad 90210 plot. That's going to end in murder white. Ah, ah. Privileged white. We may have to share, but at least we got a man black. Oh. Only white girls think Jagger is a hot name. White. Two good-haired Beckys. 
right. The answer is they are both what? the same race, which is black. Really? Oh. I know, right? Yeah. And of course, some of you got it right. I don't know how any of you got it right, but you did. And here's their pictures, guys. If you want to see what they look like, Why? scroll to the top. <laughs> Why are there uh, pictures? Those are the two sisters, Jagger <laughs> uh, to the left, Shari to pictures. the right. Look, these are not friends, well, okay? You... Ain't nobody mentoring these women. Look at these women. Mentoring with this dick. Well, me. Why are they trying to be public? friends? I don't. I just want to mold you, baby. Please. I don't understand why they're they use fake names with real pictures. I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. Why are they giving this information up? I don't get it. Hey man. Maybe they getting more. Maybe that's how I'm you like, get more sugar daddies. Uh, you know, like, step up to the uh, next level. <laughs> saw you on Huffington Post. <laughs> right. What up? Shari and Jagger from the Daily Mail? Well, hell yeah. Exactly. Gee, how much y'all charge? Yeah, I, I saw it. I'm like, I saw you, saw you in this, in this month's uh, magazine, The Sugar Daddies. Mm -hmm. I know they, they just show up with Shari and Jagger and just pull your dick out. You are my fire. Ah, shaking the shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, let's go to the bonus round. Okay. Janelle is uh, one for one, one, one and one, one, one right now. Double the points and the race. Double the points and the race. That's right. Double the points, double the racism in the bonus round against the race. So far, Janelle is one and one. But can she make it all up in the bonus <laughs> round? Let's find out. Uh, let's see. How about um uh how about this one? A cheerleader breaks down as she is charged in a homeless man's murder. High school girl accused of covering right. for her boyfriend who <laughs> tortured the hobo and then beat him to death. Mm, going in early on this one. A high school cheerleader sobbed as she was charged in the connection with the brutal and heinous murder of a homeless man. Haley Sutter, 18. Was, has pleaded not guilty to two felony counts of being an accessory after the fact in the murder of George Lowry, 50, who died in April after being attacked in Santee near San Diego, California. Hey, man. Accessory after the fact is literally yeah. the worst shit you can possibly ever be accused yeah. of. Because mm -hmm. you didn't even participate in that crime. Like, you got none of the benefits of crime time. You didn't get to hit the homeless all the one time. Of jail time. Fuck that. Oh, yeah. None yeah. of y'all... Right, none of y'all listening to this shit better ever show up to my house talking about some. I just killed somebody. I need some help. No, no, I'm gonna get you some help nine one one. Right, I'm calling the cops. I'm not going to jail for thirty years because I helped clean up a fucking dead body. Mm -hmm. Are you stupid. Uh, what they do to you? I don't even know. I was just helping. Mm -mm. <laughs> Your Wait, Honor, you down the plan? I, I don't ask plan. questions. Your Honor, I had bleach and they needed a mop. <laughs> well, that's thirty years. Right. Uh. Yeah, I was a down ass friend, man. Uh, Sutter's boyfriend, Austin Mostrong, 20 years old, and his brother, Preston, 19, have been accused of killing Mr. Lowry in revenge after he tried to Sorry, protect another so homeless right. man after they fired a paintball gun at him. Mm, my God. <laughs> Mr. Lowry's wife, uh, Mr. Lowry's wife, Penny, said he was homeless and had a wife. Good for him. Good for him. They were uh, they were shooting him with a paintball gun. My husband took the paintball gun from him. He said, she said of the attack on her husband, I have no idea why they did it. I just know that it was cruel and he shouldn't have gone that way because he was such a nice person, you know. He would have done anything for anybody. San Diego TV channels show footage of Sutter weeping as she was charged and ordered held on $100,000 bail. She faces three years and eight months behind bars of convicted. That's it? Hmm. Uh, the brothers who have, who have been held on $3 million bail could be sent to prison for life if they are convicted. 
Uh, San Diego County Sheriff officials said Mr. Lowry was kicked and punched in the head and was left for dead April 24th near the makeshift camp where he lived with his wife, Penny, and he died in the hospital I a mean, few days later. Haley. Guess the racer, Preston. Haley Sutter, Penny. the cheerleader. Come on. <laughs> Paintball. Mm -hmm. Murder of homeless man. I mean, there's so mm -hmm. much whiteness. It's just ridiculous mm -hmm. in this now. White as... Come on. <laughs> All right. Janelle feels pretty certain that it's white. Let's go to the chat room. I heard Preston so white. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know who that white girl killed last summer, and she... She yeah! would have got she would have gotten away for with it too if it weren't for those cracker ass kids. Oh Becky with the head lice. Becky you with Aww. the bad judgment. Becky with the bad judgment. Haley, damn Eminem. Uh could have spent more time with her. White. That's Eminem's daughter's name. White kid throwing large fountain drinks at the drive-through window of servers. Cheers when people say all lives matter. Extra in bring it home movies. Sounds like a Gossip Girl script, White. A girl out of a get out of jail free card, Becky. All right. Everybody guessed White. Well, the correct answer is White. Mm -hmm. I threw my computer across the room. I got that shit right <laughs> And I'll show you. <laughs> this is bullshit. And here's her picture, guys. Uh, I'm playing this game all wrong. First of all, here's a picture of her crying. She the picture of her life. crying, she looks like she's 37 years old. All right, she looks old as shit, don't she? All right, but here's a picture of her. Yeah, here's the but picture. It's, it's, uh, her, I mean, it's still like, funny that they're the focusing on her when it's the dude that actually so, murdered somebody. There you go. That's the whole story about her. Like, they didn't even. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, because she's, she's a trying white. to get her off. She's a blonde white girl, and, you know. But you know what? That's, that's, that's one of the reasons that, only that you know, only I never that wanted reason. to be a cheerleader because I'm not going to kill nobody yeah. just to be taught of the team. Yeah, because, you know, they teach you to be like team spirit. And, and they she was probably cheering them on when they was cleaning up the body. You know? Give me a claw. Give me an ox. What's that spell? Clorox. <laughs> you are a terrible cheerleader. I'm saying I'm trying to help clean up these bodies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got the bleach and you can do it too. Uh, all right. Oh, um, I'm last <laughs> segment. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Longest oh. sound effect ever. Yeah, we played that before. Wait, we but I thought, yeah. so I thought up a last chair. I thought up a chair for the cheerleader. Uh, damn, so what? <laughs> yeah, let y'all know y'all fucking. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, no, uh, this I is good. This is better to go back. I thought I was alone. I, see, this is the thing about Janelle. She was judging me. <laughs> okay. Here's my, here's my chair. And now she's, she's back. So okay. come, come so on in. U G L Y. <laughs> you ain't got no alibi because you killed him. <laughs> what? What? You killed him. Hey! You dumping the shit. <laughs> you ain't got no alibi. You killed him. Uh, what, what? What? You, you killed him. What, what? What? I just made you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how they went. This obsessive black cheerleaders came from across town. Yeah, I'm so they... sorry I made you pause your show for that, but I had to get it out. <laughs> they dropping some they, blood, John. They, they, yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you have a that, sickness and you need to get it out. Uh, I understand. That was totally mm -hmm. killing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that I just like I just like we went full circle from you sitting on high on your high horse judging me <laughs> for my for me not being there to resist. I can think of one right away, away like you the did. best chair of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a comedian. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want a list, right. motherfucker? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> me, that's who. Yeah. <laughs> 
give a dumb bag and get sold on this book. I want in on it. I want all of it. But call back you to I want it first. I want it first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <so. laughs> uh, so a Lewiston man with a samurai sword was charged with threatening a store clerk uh, he's armed with a samurai sword he was arrested by Lewiston police after threatening the convenience store clerk Sunday night Lieutenant Mike McGonagall said Joshua Cow, 28 of Lewiston is well known to the police Cause he carries a four foot long sword just about everywhere he goes in the city. Now, see, he gotta be white. I, I ain't got his picture, so but he, come on. He carried the, the, a sword the size of a child everywhere he goes. Everywhere, like he's uh like he's Forrest Whitaker in that fucking horrible samurai movie he was in, um, <laughs> Ghost Dog. He's he's Forrest Whitaker in Ghost Dog. Uh, he carries uh, a sword around with him all the time. The, just about everyone in our department knows who he is. What? And okay, mm. mm. they ain't got a picture of him up going, You not allowed, like with yeah. him with a big exit when there. No shoes, no, no, like, no, 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 shoes, no, 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 service. Yeah, absolutely. Right, right. In Utah, yep, shot him right in the back. Uh, of course, nobody going to jail. Uh, on Sunday evening, Cal and a girl who was a minor. Entered the Big Apple convenience store on Main Street to buy some alcohol. When he was denied by the clerk, Kyle made some type this of verbal threat and alluded to the sword. <laughs> Landlock. He carries in a black scabbard on his side. That's gotta, be, <laughs> that's gotta be a clerk's worst nightmare. You know? <laughs> Motherfucker comes in with an underage girl and a sword and asks for some alcohol. He's like, yeah, I don't man. get paid enough for this bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> like, look, $7.50 an hour. I gotta deal with this shit. <laughs> are you serious? He like, man, just take a register, <laughs> man. Oh, are you land lover? Give me my room. <laughs> like, I don't even want to deal with all this. <laughs> yeah, dude, can you just rob me instead? No, <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I want this Captain Morgan right now. <laughs> He's Captain Morgan uh, so he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Got one eye pack. Oh, they do a thing where you stand on one leg, ain't that Captain yeah, Morgan? That's him. Had that pirate. He had a parrot on the shoulder and shit. Ah, give him the beer. Give him the beer. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> he did not grab the sword or display the sword, but he had some words with the clerk, which scared the clerk. He left the store, and then the police found him a short time later and arrested him. Uh, they say he is a transient who uh, he was held Monday in the jail in Auburn on a charge of criminal threatening a felony and his bail was set at $250 cash. So there you go. That's all you can threaten a motherfucker with a sword. And apparently you just go to jail on $250 bail. That's it, guys. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because we don't treat swords seriously. No, I guess no, next time he has to cut the dude's head off and then we'll go. Oh, shit. He was serious. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, true because he's definitely white. Uh, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's just old you Captain that stabbing in his sword, get dog. Don't get mad. No. Yeah, he harmless. He harmless. Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, it's like a nigga with a cell phone. Get on the ground. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, he was armed and dangerous. Who knows who he could have called? Ah, <laughs> yeah, I had so much fun. Oh my god! All right, my man. Hurt. Make sure you guys check Woo. out Janelle. Uh, like I said, she's on. Um, you are my oh, man. Okay, <laughs> that's the perfect chair right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I will never look at that song the same. Helicopter that, that dick. I know that song. Oh, start playing. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Like this. I can't never hear that song again, what the hell dog. Are you doing, Ken? Ruined for me too. Back <laughs> 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 oh. That's a, you know how bad it is. Janelle stood up and I imagined the dick there. I was like, "Oh, get it out my face! I don't want to see that." <laughs> 
Oh man! Oh, so man. make sure y'all check <laughs> out uh, Janelle James. I mean, uh, you, Janelle, you got to check out my website, JanelleJamesComedy.com. Uh, I do shows all the time, all over the town, but I don't have a, a really big show to uh, promote right now. But I have big shit coming, so I'll be back and I'll talk about that at another song. Yay! Yay! I had so much fun. Yeah, anytime, man. You yeah. know you can come by anytime, anytime. man. We love you for real. No Janelle doubt. J and uh, make sure you follow her on Twitter too, uh, Janelle J Comedy. Yeah. And no. Uh, yeah. no, it's fine. J yeah, Janelle J Comic. I knew that. God damn it, I was almost perfect. <laughs> These are the things I obsess about as a host. Okay. <laughs> this, this is a peek inside my brain. Um, <laughs> at any rate, man, Janelle J Comic on Twitter. And uh, yeah, Facebook is where it's at, man. Make sure you follow Janelle. She has me consistently in stitches. She's one of the few ah, people I have uh, oh, yeah. where it updates me when they post I appreciate it. So I could just be like, oh, that's funny. Like, love that. <laughs> yep. I appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. You ain't stingy with the likes. You know? Hey, man. You be, it be funny, man. The, the worst is when, um, <laughs> you know what? That's This is why I'm glad to not be in the comedy game. You know what I'm saying? You know how many of, ain't no yeah, jealousy. Yeah. Yeah, you know how many of my friends don't like my shit, and then they tell me later, like, "Bitch, when was the like that?" These are these are the things we worry about as comedians. My favorite is the people that are like, "I'm not gonna like it." What the fuck does that have to do with a funny joke, though? Right? You let me. Right, you let me know a lot about yourself. Like, nigga, uh, if you don't like, look, I'm straight like, up I see it all the time. Oh, they just like you think you're funnier than me? I see call dudes on that like, all or the time. They don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to share your status and watch it not get no likes. <laughs> <laughs> all right man we'll be, we'll be back um saturday um and for premium people we already did um balls deep sports today mm -hmm. so it's already in your feed and i hope you guys enjoy that stuff um until next time go to lootcrate.com slash tbgwt use code tbgwt and go to getbevel.com and use code tbgwt and get our new audio play which is uh stop being bullied and it's on itunes Bye. all right so until then i love you i love you too Mwah. all right chat room it was fun y'all have a good one peace out and